edit this out if you don't want this in. <laughs> I right, think right, it's right. important, though, and I think yes. we've mentioned your father left when you were one years old. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think it's important for young dads out there. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm ready young, for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. cry? Yeah. Okay. The cry. The cr- yeah. Oh, you're like, wait, the cry. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that was good beautiful. Cry. I think it was amazing, and I'd love to was, tell that story. It was, as I've said before, primal. Right. It was so, um, we've mentioned before, Daryl's dad dipped um, when they were <laughs> one year old. That's one way to yeah. put it. Yeah. Yep. Fucking ski out, yeah. you yeah. know? Um, and r- since having, like when we were dating, you like would make jokes of like, well, I didn't have a dad, you know? And it was, it like, was a very self deprecating, yeah. which is a, uh, it's a uh, kind of like a family trait of, of mine. I've that noticed I, that with my friends who don't have a dad. They're like, well, yeah, because you know, it's, I don't know. It's kind of hard to talk about. Yeah. Um, and like you basically the feeling is like, I don't want to bum anybody out. So you yeah, make yeah, a yeah. joke about it. of like, yeah. Oh, daddy wasn't there. And yeah. everyone's like, ha, ha. The but movie, like, yeah. because like, I, yeah, I made you laugh, <laughs> but also I made you uncomfortable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like shit, yeah. we don't have that. We're, we're spoiled. We're spoiled. Our parents are still over here and doing yeah, that. And well, not, us. not because it's just like an uncomfortable thing when someone's self-deprecating it's like it just makes you feel weird so So then when we had a baby you noticed like your your like uh childhood trauma from that started Mm -hmm. sparking up and i think you try to control it in different ways like with the weed or you know um but then one day you finally exploded is what i would call it and it was the best relief ever right it was it was great uh what what happened, and, and I'm always glass half full, like everything happens for a reason. Dad wasn't there, left when I was one, have no memories of him. Like I talked to him a little bit on the phone when I was a kid. And then like, as we got older, like emailed a couple times. And then I saw him when I was like 21. I was doing that play with Chloe in New York and I invited him out to the play. And Chloe I, Grace I, Moretz. Chloe Grace Moretz. Um, thank you. Grateful for you forever. Um, and then uh, I like spent some time with him. Um, and I was just like, mm, I don't know. Like, I'm really glad he wasn't around cause I just don't know him very well. And what I did see, I was like, well, I don't want to be like that. Anyway, when we had Riley, it really just brought up a lot of stuff of like, especially when he turned one, that's when I think it, it really started come. Cause I was like, Whoa, I've already surpassed the amount of time that my dad was with me. And, um, I forgot who told us this. Maybe it's in. Anyway. Maybe our pediatrician? No. <laughs> no, nope. but but, but it's like that. I I got to become the dad that I never Maybe. had, yeah, and that I needed, um, and that has been such a fun journey. Um, but the cry was we have a lot of like people in and out of the house, and we have, um, you know, I'm setting up like a homeschool area for my son. Everyone knows I'm homeschooling him. And I like put the stickers up all day and I'm really cute. And I feel like I was, I felt like I was alone in that project. And I, I fucked up and said, well, it just seems like you don't care as much. And it's like my project. And he was like, no, I care. And I was like, okay. You're like, no, I care. Yeah. And it just got bigger and bigger. And I was like, what the fuck? Is that? Like, yeah. I got it. You care. And it, you were like, cause like my dad didn't care. Yeah. And then, like, my dad didn't, <laughs> but it was like, my yeah. dad didn't care. <laughs> And yeah. then it just exploded because it, yeah. Yeah. That's when I realized. And I was like, oh, we're having a breakthrough. Fuck yeah. It was. It was a breakthrough. And I just rubbed his back. I was like, keep going, baby. Just uncontrollable. Red, I've never seen you Good will hunting. Have you had those? those? An uncontrollable cry? Yeah. Yeah, alone. Scream cry? <gasps> Brother, no. Oh, this is good. Get it out. Mm-hmm. Mainly after sobering up, you got to have a couple of This house of or the last house? Um, it's still in this one too, yeah. Oh, but also the last one. Yeah. No, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it was. Uh, Somebody loved my brother. Well, no, in, the be- in, the be- in the beginning, um, my my triggering moments for sobriety were going out to on dates because, yeah. like, I, the first oh. thing I do would order a double tequila, keep them common. Yeah, mm-hmm. keep them <laughs> common. Common. You know, um, so da- da- dating was very hard. I was just riddled with anxiety. Is it any better? Yeah, yeah, it's t- it's ten times better. Uh-huh. But in the beginning, it's just a panic attack the entire time. You went yeah. to a wedding the other night, and it was a success. Yeah, it was great. Um, That's like the yeah. hardest place I feel. Like but I'll, I'll still I'll still get anxiety from time to time, um, mainly with doing other people's podcasts. I think the all of them I kind of go. With, I'm a shell of a human being, but I do my best to play. When you cool. go on other people's podcasts. Yeah, like chicks in the you office. Shine. I was pretty. I was. You were great on that. I was I in shambles so the entire time. I was not comfortable. Wow. I was That's way like too hot. <laughs> I, uh, we were sweating. We were sweating. 
You know right. who's helped me with this? Chris Olsen. Because especially, we, you did an event for Shelly mm-hmm. Azoff, and that was like my first time going out, being fully sober, uh, like, you know, with no weed. And so weed was my clutch. So it was like, oh, if we're going out to an event or a concert, it was like, oh, like maybe I'll get a little high before. And Gwen and- Stefani was performing. I mean, yeah. Like so I anyway, got that. I was so uncomfortable in that setting and I was sitting next to Chris and I'm like, Chris, you've been doing this for like five years. Like how, how he's do you, so how, he's just out and yeah. like so comfortable. I'm like, how are you so comfortable? He was like, well, everyone's uncomfortable. Yeah. So as soon wow. as you just accept that, like yeah, everyone's yeah. uncomfortable. Bars. Everyone's you, putting on a fucking face. Yeah. 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 And so, I kind of like with sober dating, I, my face is off. My mask is off. You're, mm-hmm. this is it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're into this or you're not. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what Daryl and I were like. Yeah. There was like no games, except for I had a pimple on my chin, and when he would come over, I'd put some concealer on it, like a little makeup. And that was my game. I was like, you can't see my little pimples. And he told me years later, he's like, oh, by the way, I saw all that makeup on your face all the time. I was like, no, you did it. I would go to the bathroom and be like, mm. like it was exploding. And one of those nights, it came yes. out. And I told him like, hey, I'm ill. You can't come over tonight. And he's like, can I bring you soup? And I was like, you're the sweetest. Get the fuck away from me. Like, oh, because pimple. And Stupid now I'm like, babe, will you pop this? Disgusting. Gross. Uh, but what um, you're doing is good for people because I think, um, you know, with how cannabis is treated now and how it's mm-hmm. legal, mm-hmm. people I feel like are embarrassed to be like, oh, this is my my crutch. Like I need it, and I but I want to quit. But it's lame to be like, oh, I'm yep. addicted to weed because weed's not a drug anymore. But yeah. it's a fucking it alt. If it alters your mind, to me, drug, yeah. Yeah. alcohol, drug. Our yeah. little brother's Probably, been addicted you know, to that for not the most popular thing to ever. say. Like I get it. Like cannabis makes billions of dollars a year. Tax is great. Good for you guys. But I think if you think you have a problem and you want to quit, you should be able to look seek out help for that. And um, just be okay with it. Can be a problem. Yeah, exactly. Well, like maybe my addiction to humans. <laughs> Don't leave me alone, <laughs> dude. You, float tank. We gotta do a float tank. Day. I will never leave. fucking do you a float tank. You have to do a float tank. She's I'll gonna die be, in there. She'll be terrified. I'll die in there. You she will. Can. I'll scream. You will die. The version of you that is afraid it's of like a everything no, listen, will die. If you float with me. No, it you need like to that. float alone. But Megan. You'll float too. Yeah, that's what I will do, dude. Should I be like, can you be like 10 minutes, please? Is it an hour? Two. Yo, no, no. no. Daryl's crazy two for two hours. hours. But, but One guys, hour. Guys, I did You're it, right, Megan, psycho. I did it right before I met you. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I, I didn't do that before I met you. We're fine. No, but you did yeah. the whole, you were like speaking out to the universe. Where's my soulmate? Uh, and I was freaking was out. I was like, Silly me. I was also manifesting in the float tank because that's the <laughs> only thing that got me to calm down was just to talk out loud. And really, when you say things out loud, it kind of just changes your brain and the vibrations on what you want. And you Have know, you done this? We're going to, I'm taking No, it I'm trying. It's Christmas. my Christmas present. Bro. Yeah. We're trying. We need to find a day you, before we go to Australia. I bet you my knee down. You're not going to talk to yourself. Oh, you don't think I talk to myself already? <laughs> You're going to talk to yourself? Bro, you I walk he, around if my he needs room. To, he might not need to. What do you I, say? What do you say? When I talk hey, to man. myself? Um, <laughs> not recently. What have, I, what have I been doing? You do any... Just uh, like life is good. Life the, is yeah, great. Affirmation. Yeah, oh, I'm just like, nice. fuck yeah, dude. We're doing I have it. been yeah. saying out loud, but not alone to myself. I'm on TikTok, you know? Uh, I have been saying though, like <laughs> that lucky thing. I'm like, God, I'm just oh. so lucky. Everything is working out for me. Yeah, lucky everything girl is, syndrome, yeah. lucky girl complex. Everything is great. Yeah, and I'm like, God, I'm so beautiful. And every day, I'm like, Jesus, I'm getting prettier. You mm-hmm. know, and I believe it and I see it. But it's changing. You are getting prettier. <laughs> like, okay. And you were already so pretty, and now look at you. I mean, look at these teeth. <laughs> okay. the stupid I fucking, fucking love teeth. my teeth. Great. I said you. in the float lab, float tank thing, I was like, I am ready for a relationship. I just want to find a girl who's smarter than me, more talented than me, gonna make me a better person. And boom, there you were. There I am. Here I am. Yeah, and you should go in me. there and be like, What do I I'm want? Okay by I want myself. Fort. I want twins, please. <laughs> Whatever please you want. Put twins in my belly. Okay. Whatever you want. 